and welcome to the Trophy Room Reviews Sifu. This is a review discussion breaking down Sifu for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. I am your host, Joseph. Alongside me, Ainsley Bowden of Season Gaming. How are you, sir? What's happening, brother? I'm doing well, man. Doing well. Playing some awesome, Sifu. Awesome. I know this game has been haunting my dreams. And honestly, <laughs> Ainge, you are the only person that I know who has beaten Sifu. Me too. And I've Round spoken of- to other people who have review copies at different outlets. I'm not going to yep. name them, but I'm the only one in checking with all of them who they've said they know who has beaten it. Yes. And with that said, I have had my copy for a week and a half, or sorry, less than a week, half a week. Um, and this is uh, <laughs> this is a daunting experience. First and foremost, this game is not for the faint of heart. So if y'all haven't seen Sifu, this is the martial arts game made by Slow, Cap, uh, Slow Clap. And we got our review copies from there. Uh, and this is a revenge tale. You are on a revenge path to kill those who have taken down your family. That's it. That's yeah. the story. It's yeah, I, I actually... Uh, what- I can I can talk about it because it's going live later, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. It's <laughs> a um, review. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually write that uh, in my review, my written review, that it, it reminds me a little bit of Kill Bill. Um, yeah. In that you basically there's these five key nemesises, nemesises, nemeses that uh, you want to take down for revenge, and uh, it's set up in that same similar way where you go one by one, and each one represents a level. It's pretty cool. Yeah, voice acting where it's there, it's fine. I think the cool thing about the VO is that because this is a roguelite, you're supposed to die. And the older you get, you you have, of course, an older voice talking. Mm -hmm. So there was one time where I haven't been young in a while. Like I, I was like 56 (laughs) for a whole long minute. And, uh, and then I, you know, died and went back to the beginning. I was like, Oh wow. I'm not used to his voice being so youthful. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, and you can, as you've learned, right, and I learned the hard way too, is you can age really quickly. Yeah, um, it's very uh, it, quickly. Yeah, it's an interesting mechanic. Uh, I, I tried to, I was trying to, I was struggling actually on how to describe it, um, mm. but you said it well. I, I said the same thing: is it's kind of a rogue light. Uh, it's got a few of those elements, and it it reminds me of an era of games I wrote back. You know, I'm older. We always joke about that, but uh, the eight and sixteen bit era where you had a limited number of lives to beat a game, yeah. um, and it's basically a play on that as you age that's pretty much your lives as you're going through the game yeah Uh, and it it makes it tough yeah and it pretty much it multiplies so if you die the first time you start at age 20 you you become 21 then if you die again you go and you age to 23 and then if you die again you're 26 etc etc now there are ways of breaking it like there are harder elite level like little mini bosses within the level where if you you kill them it deducts one of the the lives so you don't age as fast the cool mechanic here is the older you get the stronger you become but also the weaker health that you have yes the um, less health you have yes yeah so that's what i found a little interesting in that mechanic but let's <laughs> which by yeah. the way they patched and made that easier oh really two days ago it was even harder before that yes yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about this combat. Let's okay. talk about the combat because Ains, there's a lot to unpack here, man. Yeah, there is. Hey, don't take my phrase. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about. Let, let's let's get into the nitty gritty first. Yeah. How do you like the combat? It's amazing. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it is. So when you first play this game, and you're getting your butt kicked, which you will, I promise you. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't realize just how deep it is. And the more I played, and I now have over 20 hours into Sifu, um, and I've beaten it multiple times, and you know, and I've kind of gone through it, um, the more you realize how intricate it is and how yeah. precise it is. And for this game to be successful, it had to be, because mm-hmm. the crux of the whole game is the combat system. Yeah. And if the combat system was faulty or slow or sluggish or unresponsive, it just wouldn't work. But fortunately, it does. And that allows you as the player to just create these incredibly memorable scenarios where you literally feel like you are a martial arts master in a movie. Um, And it's just it's when you get the feel of it. It's you know what it reminds me of. It reminds me a lot of Sekiro. Mm. Sekiro is incredibly challenging. The Mm -hmm. game can punish you in an instant. 
But when it all comes together and you nail it, there's there's hardly any other feeling like it. And that's what seafood yeah. feels like. Yeah, when you get into an engagement with like eight to ten guys in a room and they don't even touch you, yep. you feel like you're the master yep. of this game. And it feels so good. Uh, but then like five seconds later, you'll just get your ass kicked by, <laughs> by just a nobody. And then you'll, yeah. you're back to, to square one. Yeah. I love, hate the combat. Okay. Um, I feel like at times it's amazing. And to take one of your words at the other times, it's maddening. Yeah. Like this is the only roguelite where I feel actually punished when I die. Yes. Cause sometimes I'm like, that's not fair. I I got that off. No, don't do this to me. The, the, that type the, of stuff. The timing for like specific parries and dodges is so minimal yeah. that you you swear to your point. You'll be like, I I know I hit that, and yeah, yeah, you can you can get that level of frustration and and compounding that frustration at times um, is the fact that it is possible. I was explaining to people uh, and having this conversation with a few other peers that are reviewing it. It is possible to play this game for, say, 30, 45 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. And not make any progress in terms of your next run. Yeah. Because the only permanent unlocks are the skills. There's no permanent unlocks to increase your health, defense, stamina, nothing like that. Nothing like so that. So it's all. um it's really all just about learning the nuances of the enemies and, and figuring out patterns. But otherwise, you can spend a lot of time not really getting anywhere. That's what I feel like. Uh, it is a big get good check. Yes. Um, where I'm stuck on chapter two. I was it is, too. I was too. It was, ma I'm, I'm getting to the guy and then I'm like, I'm age 46 and he just molly wops me. The one problem that I have with the game is A, the avoid. So like, there's not just a perfect parry or, or, or dodge. You actually, when someone's f like trying to kick you, you're supposed to hit L1 and then go yes. back to avoid with with the analog stick i hate it <laughs> <laughs> just give me an l1 there's too many because there's so many fists coming at me at once i feel bombarded and yes. so my brain can't switch off or switch on so much it can only take so much input and sometimes there's just way too much input the other thing that i and i get it it's a roguelite um, there are shortcuts to get to the boss, yep. but it kind of feels like in Demon Souls where, you know, your bonfire is in the beginning and you finally get to the boss. And when you wipe on the boss, you're all the way back at the beginning. Yeah. And that, again, it's a roguelite, hmm. but maddening because I want to <laughs> train on the boss. Yeah. That's the thing I'm having an issue with. So I feel like I'm, I'm getting five minutes in or 10 minutes in just to get to the boss to get my butt kicked. And I haven't learned anything from that encounter to me. It, it's all about the ex exact per, uh, precision and dare you go anywhere within the little window of, of the enemy tell and, and you're done. Yes. And, uh, that like even like because it has a Sekiro gauge where you have an only a finite amount of blocks until someone breaks your block and then a punishes structure, you. Your structure, structure, yeah. 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 But <clears throat> man, it, it it doesn't feel like it's teaching me anything. It only feels like I'm being punished when I when I'm falling. Yeah, it's it's tough. I I was there. Uh, yeah. The second level is much more difficult than the first, and it's much longer with tougher yes. enemies. Um. And I was, I wrote in my review that I audibly, I play in my game room by myself. There's no one around. And I audibly said out loud, how the hell am I ever going to beat this game for this review? Yeah. Um, because I just felt like, I, I, to your point, I was punished. Um, and that's where I think this game walks a line of <clears throat> the more modern roguelites, as you said, you, you feel like you're not learning anything. And a lot of the roguelites that I've played are likes, lights. Um, you're, you're kind of either learning something or gaining something with every yeah. run, right? So that even if you're not doing well, if you do 10 runs, you'll be able to overcome the challenge because you're stronger, you have more items, whatever it may be. Yeah. Whereas in this game, it is solely about just getting better at the same enemies. And that's why it feels a lot like a game out of the 8 or 16-bit era to me because there yeah. was no such thing as powering up after you die in those games. It was starting over and doing better. And that's yeah. what this game is for, for right or wrong. Um, yeah. I do think, and I've said this, we've been talking about this offline. I do think it's going to limit this game's audience a bit. Absolutely. Um, because of, because of that. And I absolutely think 
people are not prepared for how difficult this game is. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be a wake up call. And the, the crazy thing is, Joe, is we're, we keep talking about level two. There's five levels, by the way. I don't know if we said yeah. that. Yeah. Um, level three is harder than two. <laughs> Um, <laughs> level three is my favorite level and it yeah. has some really really amazing environments and kind of things out of almost like martial arts movies mm -hmm. um but man it is tough now i will say you mm -hmm. mentioned the shortcuts yeah what i found is if you look at all five levels each of them has a shortcut to get to the boss um but they're all different lengths as you said in the second level there's a shortcut you earn but you still have to go through a few rooms and several engagements before getting to the boss. Yep. Um, level three is a much tougher, longer level than two. But there is there's two different types of shortcuts in level three. And one of them goes directly to the boss. Beautiful. So if you die at the boss, you, you fight like two scrubs and then you can go right to the boss again like that. Yeah. Um, level four, you have to go through a few rooms again, a couple. Um, but it it's different per level is the point I'm making. So yeah. they, they seemingly tried to balance out the difficulty even once you have the shortcuts, depending on the levels themselves. So it kind of yeah. varies as you go through it. Yeah, and you get to find these little mementos, these little shrines that you get to choose if whether you want to upgrade your structure, your health, your weapon durability, um, how much, you know, how how rewarded you get when you successfully avoid or parry, um, you get some of your energy back, all that type of stuff varied throughout the level. So they they're encouraging you to hey, go play level one before you get to level two and and and, and buff out Sifu a little bit more that way, even then. Man, it is kicking <laughs> my butt. So let's, let's, okay. Game is very hard. Yep. Let's talk about the level of design. Okay. How are you digging it, man? I like it. Uh, it's yeah. a little basic, right? It's rather linear. There are, there are side kind of shortcuts, as we said, and there's sort of side paths you can take in some of the levels. The first level is pretty straight through, um, but they open up a little bit, the rest of them. Um, but they're still pretty linear. There's not a lot to discover. Um, or experiment with. Um, but I like, as you go through all five levels, they are different locales, art designs. Um, like the third level is a museum. The fourth level is like a corporate tower, a corporation tower. Mm. Fifth level is like a a, um, a spa. So it, it's um, the variety in the levels in terms of their design and the way you go through them is, is different. And I like that. I did enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, it, I... I love I love level two's aesthetic. <laughs> like the club is like popping. I love the sound that I'm hearing from it. Yeah. Um, you know the colors. You can't forget it. You, how can we forget colors, about the colors? And there's a lot of culture in this game. There's a lot of it. And so you know it's it's a beautiful. It, it really is a beautiful game. It is because even when you're playing the first level, which is slums, it's it's still beautiful. I love the the art direction in this game. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. And the sound. I heard one person, I think it was our mutual friend Jordan, is like, the one reason why I didn't like Absolver is kind of like I was, it, it sounded like I was hitting a wet blanket <laughs> when I was making contact. I don't okay. feel that way here. No. Uh, it, when you connect, it sounds like you're really punching someone. Yeah. It sounds and it, nice. It has an impact. Yeah. yeah. Um, especially, you know, I wrote about the, the kind of choreograph finishing moves, you know, when you do the double button and you there's all kinds of different ones. And they're actually contextual, which is really mm. cool, too. So, like, if you are near a wall, your guy will slam them up against the wall and then kick them. Um, I've flipped people over yeah. desks. Um, I've splattered blood across like corners of, of walls or desks and stuff. And it's it's really neat um, the way that the, the combat plays yeah. out. And how the combat plays out in the levels. Like you'll pick up a bottle and you could like toss it at someone or like pick up like a broken chair leg or a pipe <laughs> and just like yeah. wail on, it, on them. I got a broom and kicked a lot of ass with a broom. The staff, um, the staff, that's I'm actually going to write up an article, I think, of like essential tips for this game. Yeah. And what I've learned is the staff, which the broom acts as right mm -hmm. um that is your most powerful weapon if yeah. you know how to use it um mm -hmm. it takes a while but uh, the key well i won't get into it but th there's a lot of kind of key things that'll help you one yeah. of them is your focus meter um but learning how to knock enemies down onto the ground is absolutely key yeah. um so there there's there are like i said it's it's got this learning curve that smacks you in the face and it basically knocks you down. But once you get over that hump, it becomes a really, really um, just enjoyable game.
Yeah. And when you're unlocking more combos and, and more skills throughout the game, like when someone tosses a bottle at you, you could catch it and then like toss it right back at them, which I love doing. That's so satisfying. (laughs) Um, yeah, it's, there's, there's a lot here. This game has a lot of systems that play so well with each other, but to me, it is that hard skill gap that is going to man scare a lot of people off. Yeah. That said, uh, before we get into our final thoughts, I do want to shout out the dual sense in this game. Okay. Oh my god, it feels nice. <laughs> do you, do <laughs> From, you really enjoy it? Yeah, I do. I love it. Why okay. you don't? No, I it, it definitely has some support. Um, yeah. And there's a few areas in the game where they they really utilize it. There's this one part in level two where you run through this hallway and the, these lights are lighting up in in sequence from yeah. the club and it actually goes in sequence on the controller like da, 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 which is yep. really cool um but overall, with the rain as well yeah that's true that yeah, yeah that's fair that's fair i yeah. there wasn't anything that really jumped out to me as like wow this is amazing uh oh, yeah. you know i'm still waiting for that astrobot moment which is not a fair comparison i realize right. but um i'm still waiting for that which is something that really blows me away so but mm-hmm. it, it does utilize it to some degree yeah, I, I, I really like the haptics. Um, there's no, like, adaptive triggers, of course, on this game because it's fighting. Uh, but even for a game that uses the face buttons as your primary, um, you know, hitty-hitty maneuvers, it's it's pretty darn good. So, okay, Ains, is there any final thoughts you want to wrap this game up with? And where would you throw this on the meter that is or how you guys would rate it over at Season Gaming? Yeah, so... Or, you know what? To, for people to go to Season Gaming, hint at, like, the ballpark. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so it definitely earned one of our SG medals. I'll say that. So we give medals to any game uh, that score higher than a seven. Okay. Um, on our R one to ten scale, we do use a number scale, but you know you can find all the details over there and, and read my full review. I I believe that this is going to be one of those games that's like a cult classic. Um, we already kind of commented on the fact that it, the challenge it presents is going to limit its audience, and I think that. There are going to be a, a group of people, a chunk of people that buy this game and get disappointed that it's yeah. far more difficult than they were expecting because yeah. the gameplay videos make it look like a beat up which it is, but it's to, to do the beat up is incredibly challenging. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so I, I think that's going to inhibit it. My one kind of big complaint I wrote about with this game is the camera annoys me sometimes because... Mm. You, you have full control of the camera, which you have to in a game like this. But the problem is, is the camera requires the right thumbstick. Yeah. You also need your thumb to do the attacks, which are, as we've already said, the timing on them has to be perfect. And there's a lot of situations, especially later in the game, level three has a bunch of them, where you're in a tight space. Just rub it in my face. I can't get past two. Just rub it <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> but you're in a tight space. And all of a sudden, like, it's that classic 3D game problem where the camera's like here. Yep. And you can't even see what's happening. And if you can't see what's happening in this game, believe me, you're dead in an instant. Yep. Yep. Um, so that's my only big qualm. But I, I do, I, I really grew a level of appreciation for this game as I got over that hump, saw the whole experience, all the levels, the different bosses, the different designs, and kind of took a step backwards and, and thought about what Slow Clap had uh, developed here. I really started to appreciate it. So I really enjoy it. I think there's going to be those kind of masochistic people like me who love tough games that just kind of smack you back. Um, I think there's going to be a group of us that really love this game and kind of hold it up on a pedestal. But I think that that group is going to be pretty small, sadly. Yeah. This is a weird, weird one for me. Cause I think this is like how we rate it. It's like on a you know trophy level. Yeah. Yeah. Cause trophy. I, I get it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to me, this is like a gold. This is a gold trophy, man. This is a, this is a really great experience that I feel like for people that are dying for that old retro challenge, um, you're going to get it here. Yeah. I think what the, the systems that they have in place are all incredibly well done, but it's so weird that as, as high as I would rank this game, I can't recommend people buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm with you. I, because I, I feel like it's a masterful game. It's great at everything it does, but man, it I don't think a lot of people are ready. So really check out more videos on this. Check out Season Gaming's in-depth review on it um, to really, really make your mind up. Because this game, as someone who's platted a Sakura and platted games like Bloodborne, yeah. this is, this is 
I, even above my pay, pay grade. I was going to say, <laughs> it's not like you don't like card games or, yeah. or are good at games. I mean, you know that. So that your commenting on that just goes to speak to it. And I, like I said, I was in the same place. I've played it more than you have, I think, at this yeah. point. Um, yeah, yeah. And so I've put more time in it. So maybe I've just you're you're going to you're going to hit that spot where you get over the hump. I hope you do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's I completely agree with you. Yeah. 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 And it's a shame because. I, you you always have to wonder not to get us in a side discussion, but you have to wonder if if, if the game doesn't sell well because of that, it's going to be disappointing because Slow Clap did develop something what I think is special here yeah. that deserves to be recognized. But if it's if it's too hard for people to access on a broad scale, I don't see this game being successful. Sadly, yeah, same. Likewise, that said, listen again. You saw my gameplay on the side. You heard our words. Uh, or if you're the audio watcher, <laughs> you go, heard go our watch words. this. You heard our words, dang it. Uh, Ainsley, where can people find you, brother? Oh, man, you can find me. Uh, there's only a couple Ainsleys in the world. I'm one of them. Right. So you're pretty easy to find me. And then uh, just check out Season Gaming. That's uh, it's as simple as can be. You can find everything there, including the full review of Sifu and uh, a discussion on our big cast, uh, which should be up now as you're listening to this as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, dude, for coming on and, and discussing this in full with me. Um, yeah, that's been Sifu. You can find me over at Mr. Badbit. You can find the show over at PS Trophy Room. And if you like this video, this review, and you want to see more, and if you want to check out the Trophy Room podcast, a PlayStation podcast made by the players for the players, you can hit like, share, subscribe, hit that bell, get notified, and all that said, all that out of the way, everybody. Keep your wits about you. Keep hunting. and Keep playing PlayStation. See you guys.